Okay guys, we're going to start it off really simple because I'm new to making tutorials and yeah, I mean that's the only reason. I don't want to make something that's um, not worth watching. So for this picture, I don't think I'm going to mask out the character. I mean, she's so zoomed in that background is, is fine with me. I'm not going to change the background. So um, what you're going to want to do is... Normally, you're going to mask out the character, so that, that's step one, but we're skipping that today. Um, get your picture duplicated a bunch. Uh, again, I'm not very good at tutorials. I'm also new to editing, so I'm not going to be like teaching you how to use After Effects. You know what I mean? If you want that tutorial, that's going to have to be its own separate thing. So duplicate this layer a bunch, your picture. And the first thing we're going to do is... Precompose the top one, and let's name this eyelids, All right? And usually what I'll do is I'll go into this composition and I'll paint the eyelids that you, you part of the eyelids that you can't see, and also just like extra extra skin up here on top of the hair so that the eyelids can and you'll see what i mean that in just a moment so let not do that Fun part, we're going to mask out the eyelids. And what I mean by that is watch carefully how I mask these. Go from either end. So when you're doing eyelid, you want enough space down here for this part to move up without this looking. room but part of the island but it, I think it'll be fine actually all right now to make another pre-composition if you're animating the hair and the eyes this is even better because you're gonna have to mask out all the hair Put it above the eyes. Anything that you know normally would have been above the eyes before you painted it, you're gonna have to mask out and put that layer above the eyelids. Okay, so I'm gonna do a simple mask here. All of this. So, this one that we can natural. Go. Now the fun part. The pins. All right. So usually I like to do four on the top, four on the bottom for each eyelid. Um, just like my general principle. 
they're pretty big eyelids, so more than four is probably okay, but I'm still going to... Now, if it looks too weird, I want her eyes to open on this one marker. If it looks too weird, I'll do this a different way, but normally, what I'll do, I will just move these up without any extra pins. As you can see, that would look weird. So, I have to do, I'm going to make it look a little crappier, but sometimes you got to do this. On the, on the very outsides of the mask, puppet pins to keep outer edges of the eyelids in place. That doesn't look Okay. What's up? Uh oh, need another pop there. Yeah, see, this is, it just doesn't look as good. Don't paint the entire. See how there's these stretching instead of moving the eyelid? We don't really like. Or I don't really like. What's that? All right, there's one eye closed, and I know it looks weird here, but remember this motion the entire time. I'm hoping. <laughs> Find out together. There we go. Here around these puppet pins, I guess um, you're gonna you're gonna want to be using. Jesus Christ, I cannot speak. You're gonna want to be using your select tool instead of the because if you're using the all your moving puppet pins, um, some weird buggy thing happen. Okay, now we're gonna easy ease these all these keyframes. And because we want them to open right here, we create a mid graph. That would look like all of these keyframes selected. We highlight the left side, drag it over, right side, drag it over. That marker we have, right? Eyes to open. This, right? Very simple, eyes opening, you know? and it looks it looks smooth. The graphing. 